If you haven't started getting emails from large general contracting companies just yet, you will, and that's why you need to watch today's video. I'm talking about my personal experience in dealing with these companies, how they operate to initiate a bidding war between other local companies, and how this can have a negative impact on you. Do me a favor, be a real one, like this video, and stay around. Watch until the end. Let's go. All of us have experienced it where you get these random emails from a general contractor talking about you've got an opportunity to bid, which they make it sound like it's this exciting thing that you've been given an opportunity to bid on a project. The way that they go about giving you this opportunity to me seems done in a deceitful manner. Later on in the video, I'm going to show you an email exchange from two companies that have done this same exact thing to me more recently. It's happened a lot more, but it's happening more and more often that I think it's time to make a video about it. First, I'm going to tell you about the time that I approached a local company to do their parking lot maintenance. It was about six months ago. I came across this property that had severely faded lines. I cold called them, attempted to make contact in order to send them a proposal for my services. Well, initially, I got in contact with the office manager they were excited about it. They said, yeah, send us a quote. We'd love to see it. We really need to get our parking lot done. Well, I sent them a quote. It was like 20 lines and repairing a wheel stop. Not a big project. I told them I could do it for about $850. Well, after I send them the numbers, I don't hear anything back from them. Of course, it's my custom that if I don't hear back from a potential customer, I go ahead and call them or I'll email them and I'll say, hey, just following up with the project, I need to know if you want us to remove this from the list. Four months later, I get a call from this company that's out of state. It's an out of state company. They said, hey, Chris, there's a property in your area that we got asked to service. We wanted to know if you'd be interested in taking up the project. I said, sure, where is it at? What do you know? They give me the address. It's the address to the same exact property that I just put it in a proposal four months previous. This was an out-of-state company from New York. Why in the world would a company in Oklahoma outsource the project to a company in New York? Anyways, I thought, whatever, not a big deal. So I sent them a proposal. I marked it up 200 bucks charge them $1,050 to stripe the lines and install the wheel stop. A couple days later, guess what happens? They accept it. This property that's in my state that is eight miles that way accepted the other company's proposal. See, my original proposal that I sent to them was $800, but they outsourced it to an out-of-state company all the way in New York and accepted their proposal. They were subcontracting me, which means they probably charged them about 2,000 bucks. And it blows my mind because they ended up paying more for my service in the long run. I found it so funny that I ended up getting that job anyways. Really, I think it was just a coincidence. Now, this is gonna happen to you if it hasn't happened already. You're gonna get these companies that are general contractors from out of state that are bidding properties that are in your state. I get it all the time. Recently, I've gotten these two emails. I'm gonna read one of them for you, okay? Now, the first email, they say, Chris, thanks for taking my call. We are trying to get our bid wrapped up by 2 p.m. this afternoon. Sorry for this short timeline. Let me know if there are any questions. Please see the attached bid plan sheets for the base and alternate bid. But real quick, if you're stuck working a full-time job and you absolutely hate working for someone else all the time for low pay, then consider checking out the How to Stripe course where we teach you about striping, how to get customers, marketing packs, absolutely everything you need to learn how to start a business that can change your life. Be sure to check out the How to Stripe course. It will be the first link in the pinned comment section and the description. Let's get back to the video. This is a request that I got from a general contractor out of state to do some striping for a Walmart. Number one, the first thing I asked him, I said, let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys already have this contract or are you competing against other people? 
Then he proceeded to tell me, well, we don't have it yet. We're just sending in our bids. My response to him was, all right, I'll pass on the opportunity. I'm really not interested. Then he says, if we get the contract, would you be more interested? And I told him, if you get the contract, we'll accommodate your needs any way possible. And I'll do whatever I can to help you out. And then he said, all right, have a great day. Because I'm not interested in a company asking me to hurry up and send them a bid before two o'clock because it's such an amazing opportunity to bid. I don't care if it's a Walmart, a Target, a Sam's. I don't care how awesome the name sounds. I'm not going to rush and scurry around and push off everything to send somebody a proposal by two o'clock because they're trying to get me and every other contractor in town to send them the cheapest price. I'm just not going to do it. Well, I find it interesting that... I don't know if it's a coincidence or these general contractors are just shysty in nature because here is a, another email that I got a few days ago. Guy says this, Chris, we are wanting to invite you guys to bid the striping for a project. I have the attached site plan that would be required for the striping of the project. If you could please take a look, let us know if you have any questions. I'm running a little late in the game and I'm reaching out on this one. So we are turning in our number when tomorrow at two so not sure if you can turn in something around by then but if you would it would be appreciated please let me know if you have any additional questions thanks i find it funny that all of these large general contracting companies always email you and then say the deadline is tomorrow at two or the deadline is today at two can you get your numbers in now, I'm very well aware that these companies are probably doing jobs and bidding jobs on a large national scale. But, guys, I want to tell you right now, when they tell you that the bid is due tomorrow by 2 p.m. or due, tomorrow, or due the same day by 2 p.m., they're straight up lying to you because what they're going to do is they're going to get you to send a bid. See, you get all excited about it and you're like, oh man, this is so awesome. I've got an opportunity to bid a Walmart. I'm so excited. But what happens is, is they put pressure on you to send them a bid. They've called other contractors in the area and they've asked them to send them a bid. They sent them the same email they sent you and they're looking at all these prices, getting everybody else to hurry up and they're going to decide to bid start a bid war against other local companies when the local company should be working together like if you're a local company you should be connected to all of the other local service providers i've got friends that are all over the state that do striping that do parking lot maintenance and we're all real good friends whenever these companies just like this try to get us to compete against each other you know what we do we call each other first and say, hey, have you heard from so-and-so? Did this company call you? What did they say? Right? And guess what? They send them the same email. So I am not at all interested in an opportunity to bid. And I'm not saying that you can't get opportunities to stripe big box locations. I know a lot of guys that are doing great job. I know I have a friend of mine who's going behind pavers doing new layouts for Walmart. I know another guy who's doing some striping for Walmart. He told me that he got beat out in a bidding war against another company that's in Oklahoma and he already doesn't charge that high and they undercut him. And guess what? It's not a legitimate company out of here. Man, these general contracting companies, man, that that get this work really ruin it for local service providers. Anyways, guys, I, you know, I'm not saying that there are these, these aren't good opportunities that you can't make some money off of it. I'm sure you can. If you're the cheapest guy, then you can make a decent amount of money. And some, I know, I know some people probably say, well, they don't always go with the cheapest guy. If you're striping for big companies, I can promise you this, they're going for the cheapest guy. I know a lot of guys who are seasoned veterans in the industry. Talked to one of them the other day who's out in Arizona. He does city striping, thermo truck striping, parking lot striping, everything striping. All he does is striping. And he's in Arizona. 
multi-million dollar company. He, I ask him about this. He tells me, man, I don't, I don't even do work for I don't even do work for those big companies anymore because it's such a hassle. So if he won't do direct work with these big companies, why on earth would I try to rush to get subcontracted for such a wonderful opportunity to bid? It's like, I'm not interested in being the cheapest guy. Like, I, I, I don't want to be the cheapest guy. Well, I'd rather just be real, real cheap and then stripe a lot. Well, that's good for you, but I'm not going to be the cheapest guy where I'm working all day long and I'm making it up over time. That, I, I don't, I'm not interested in that. I, I want to be able to pick the customers I want, offer them a quality service. Anyways, guys, tell me what you think. Am I wrong? Should, am, am I wrong in this? Like, let me know down in the comment section. Do you get emails like that where they're like, oh, by 2 o'clock, you can get it? I've never, and I used to submit jobs and bids and everything like that. I have yet to receive one callback from a company saying, oh, I need it done the next day. Let me know in the comment section. Am I wrong? Should, I mean... Have you gotten experience from this? Have you landed a large amount of work by some general contractor telling you that, oh, you know, it's a, such an opportunity and it's, it's a great opportunity and not only is it a great opportunity, but uh, we need it done in like uh, 33 seconds. Can you get it done? Like, let me know, guys. Tell me. Let me know down in the comment section down below. All right. See you in the next one.